Hi friends, Simit here from InformedTrades.com. In this video, we want to talk a little bit about revising your trading plan. You know, as you're trading and as you've, you've got your plan, you're sticking to it, you see ways to improve it. So here are some guidelines for revising your trading plan. It's something that I'm personally going through at the moment. So I thought uh, I'd share some of my insight and at least what I'm doing at the time. Uh, you know, when you're revising your trading plan, the first thing is obviously you want to refer to your previous trading plan. Uh, and if you didn't have a trading plan before, that's a sort of an issue. Uh, you cannot revise a plan that you don't have. Writing down your trading plan is hugely important. Uh, at the same time, another hugely important point is referring to your trading, or, or excuse me, keeping a trading journal and referring to that when you're revising your plan. The basic idea with revising your plan is the danger that a lot of traders go through is just, you know, changing their mind every two minutes, doing whatever they feel like at the moment. If you've got a trading plan that you're referring to, if you're documenting your trades, it's much easier to be disciplined, to hold yourself accountable, and to actually see what's working, what's not. Remember, the main thing with revising your trading plan is to, you want to cut down on what's not working and do more of what is working. Uh, the other thing about revising your trading plan is to give yourself enough of a sample set to test out ideas. This is something that can be harder with longer term trading or investing, one of the challenges on the longer term side. On the shorter term side, it's easy to get a, a large enough sample set in a reasonably short amount of time. Uh, Vic Noble, who's uh, I've been watching some of his videos, we have a bunch of his videos on informed trades, he recommends a sample set of at least 20 trades before you change your plan. So the basic idea here is before you change anything, you want to make sure you give it enough of a chance. You know, if you try something and it doesn't, you have it, a losing trade on it, just one trade is not really enough to go on. Maybe it's actually a great idea if you give it a, a little bit of a more chance. Uh, so 20 trades is one uh, is one rule of thumb that uh, that you may want to consider. Some examples, I'll tell you uh, at least what I'm doing. Um, basically, I had my trading plan before was I would enter half on market orders, half on an entry order. I realized that, you know, the, the market order, when you enter on a market order, yes, you do get filled immediately, and that, that's sort of, uh, you know, valuable or can be. You don't have to worry about not getting filled. But your entry point is really not optimal. So what I saw end up happening is those positions would sometimes go in the money, but I'd be holding them longer. I'd have to put my stop further away. It wasn't as quality of a trade as when the market uh, retraced and, and filled, hit my entry order and then went back in the direction that I anticipated. So the entry orders were so much more effective, so much easier, um, and the, the greater potential there. So I decided uh, to stop using market orders and just enter uh, just on the entry orders. I realized that I'll get, there'll be some situations where I don't get filled, but I think overall this will definitely work better for me at least in the context of the rest of my method. Uh, improve your risk reward. You know, that's one of the big things of the trading plan. You know, I was uh, achieving three to one reward risk. Uh, you know, now with using entry orders, I think I can improve that uh, overall, maybe get to four and a half, five to one. Uh, we'll see. Diversify. Uh, diversification is, you know, one way of reducing risk. All traders have in common, all successful traders, one thing they have in common is the ability to, to manage risk. When you're revising your trading plan, one thing you can look for is additional opportunities to diversify, to, to trade basically assets that are not correlated with each other. And another classic example of, of uh, revising your plan, this is something I did last year, is alter your maximum risk. So previously, for instance, I was trading, I would expose 2% of my account balance at any time. So if all my stops got hit, the most I would lose is 2%. Uh, now I've revised that to 1%. I realize that you know, with proper trade management and with uh, astute, you know, basically moving my trade to break even when, when the time is right, 1% uh, gives me more than enough opportunity to get a nice upside while, of course, keeping risk uh, minimized. Those are just some examples to illustrate, but in, in all those instances, it really goes back to having the plan, having the journal, and then just from there, you know, logging your trades uh, and seeing what's working, what's not working, and you can sort of optimize and tweak from there. Uh, that's about it. You know, a lot of this is pretty common sense. I just wanted to share my take. If there's anything you want to add, join us at informedtrades.com. Thanks. Best of luck.